In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this podium design slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this uh, 3D oval shape here in the center and I've created one kind of a ramp here. Then I've added some kind of a lighting and some shadow effect here. And then how the slide works is when I click, you know, the lighting effect comes and whatever you want to reveal a product or a text or logo image, any form of things you can use this particular slide for. So I've just used one or two example here to show you. For example, when I click, you can see here I'm going to reveal my new logo. For example, I've just placed the logo here and then you can see here some lighting effects I've added here, the kind of a search light or the spotlights and again, small blinking lights also I have added here. So depending on your requirement, you can just change your logo, text, image, picture, anything of your a requirement you can just put it here at the center stage and likewise i have just created one more without animation where i've just placed one icon here so uh, just to show you uh, you can do a lot of things with this kind of uh, the slides or the designs and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. And if you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010, some features might not be available. So I highly recommend you to use the latest version of PowerPoint. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill. In this case, I have used uh, the color combination of blue. So let me just right mouse click, go to format background. You can see here the type I have used as radial and then I've used two gradient stops. You can see here one is light blue and the other one is somewhat darker here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert one oval shape for that. Let me just go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle here so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size by holding the shift key you can see here maybe this much size i'm going to keep it shape outline make it no outline and shape field i'm going to select white and then align center align middle I'm going to add one more rectangle by pressing Ctrl D. You can see here one, one more rectangle has been added. And then depending on your requirement, you can just change the color. So I'm going to use a pink color. And this also I'm going to put align center, align middle. And hold the Ctrl Shift key together and just drag this. So you can see here this much size I have changed now. So these are the two uh, oval shapes I have added and one more shape which I'm going to add. Let me just select this duplicate, the white circle only. Then what I'm going to do is go to insert shapes. I can just select this, uh, say this one, the trapezoid, draw the trapezoid from the center. So depending on your requirement, how much uh, the width you need. You can see here, make sure it is in, aligned in the center and shape outline, make it no outline. And this also I'm going to put the same color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape, hold the shift key and select this trapezoid. And I can just merge shape. You can see here, I can just make it intersect. All right. And this color also I'm going to make it uh, pink. And this one exactly at the center, I'm going to paste it or bring it here in the center now it looks something like this so i've got three shapes uh, one is the white oval shape the other is the pink and this one is another free form shape we have made now for all these three i'm going to select or you can press ctrl a to select all also and ctrl g to group it now the next part we need to do is to make a 3d effect for that you need to go to the effects and you can see here 3d rotation from the presets, scroll it down. I'm going to choose which is something perspective, relax moderately. So it looks something like this. 
and then you can see here you've got different rotation properties x y z and all those things so uh, for example if i just click like this you can see here it is more rotating like this okay so depending on my requirement i can just make the, maybe this much and then i want to give a, a depth for that i'm going to 3d format and you can see here depth so depending on my requirement i can just increase the size all right so you can see here something like this and then you have got two more options also the lighting and material so depending on your requirement you can just choose what kind of lighting you need you can see here a different lighting effect has been given and here also you can see here different things are there so let it be like this and if you want to increase the size further again hold the shift key you can just increase the size and then exactly at the center i'm going to place this one here all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more trapezoid shape just to make sure that it looks like kind of a, a, a ram kind of thing so for that go to insert shapes again i'm going to select this trapezoid draw the trapezoid you can see here maybe i'm going to draw it more wider so depending on your requirement make it more wider and make sure that it is align center and then you can see the small orange point and just dragging this to the orange point you can see here something like this and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any color dark color or pink color whichever and then send this to back so you can see here i have created the ramp now if you want to give gradient fill also for this you can just make the gradient fill so it's up to you or if you want to change the color to some other color you can do that also so again if you want to play with these properties again you can just go to the effects and then you can just if you want you can just make it more uh, you can see here more flat all right and then i can just bring it down so depending on your requirement you can do it and then let me just add one rectangle at the back side add a one rectangle shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select a gradient fill for this all right and then this type instead of radial i'm going to choose the linear all right and then i can just choose two color combinations you can see the same color combination what i have used here and only the thing which the first top i'm going to make it fully transparent you can see here something like this and then i'm just going to send this to back so it looks some kind of a a 3d look here okay okay so depending on your requirement you can increase or uh, decrease this one or if you want to get more darker i can just select this one go to more colors i can just increase the shade here you can see here so it looks sorry not that one this one let me just select this and then more colors increase the shade okay so something like this also you can just think of doing that one and if you want to add some uh, lighting effect also for this what you can do is you can go to insert shapes select the oval draw the oval shape outline no outline shape fill make it white then go to the effects here the soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this and then send this to back or just send back only all right you can see here something like this some lighting effect for this stage i have created so if you want more effects also you can create it now let's draw the focus lights or the spotlights or the search lights whatever you call it for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape will make it white i'm just going to rotate something like this the spotlight here i'm going to keep it all right and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid reduce the size you can see here i'm just going to rotate it and I'm, it is it should come something like this let me just rotate this further yeah and then i'm going to just place it here then i'm going to use the gradient fill for this also let me just select the gradient fill so when i select the gradient fill the same thing what i have used before it will come but i'm going to use 
white only here i'm going to select one stop white another stop also white and make sure that the type is linear all right and then one stop i'm going to choose and make it fully transparent you can see here but the only thing is i'm going to change the direction you can see here the direction should come from this one the linear up all right let me just remove the outline so it looks something like this now how far you want that the light should travel you can just depending on this one you can increase or decrease you can see here something like this then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the width you can see here something like this and then i'm just going to put it exactly in the center so it looks something like this you can see here all right now if i want i can just add few more or for me this is enough i'm just going to select these uh, three shapes press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it go to rotate and i can just make it flip horizontal and i'm going to place it here all right so you can see here with this we have completed the basic design and again if you want some light effect on this particular stage also that also can be done for example i'm just going to select this press ctrl c click outside ctrl v and then let me just rotate it you can see here i'm going to reduce the size and i'm going to place it here all right so something like this you can also just play place few more lights effect here and there so you can see here something like this now with this we have completed the design now it's up to you what text or what image you want to place it here for example if you want to place some product if you are launching some product or if you are launching some uh, the new logo or new icons or new text whatever you can just think of doing that one for example let me just go to insert icons and i'm just going to choose any icon of my choice you can see here a uh, different icons are available and this version is available and these icons are available only in the the latest version of powerpoint if you're using the older version of powerpoint then it not be uh, it might not be available so let me just select this one click on insert you can see here I can just increase the size and I can just keep it here and depending on my requirement I can just change the color whatever I want or different color combinations I can just choose you can see here you've got a wide variety of colors to be chosen from so let me just choose uh, the same color the gold color also or if you are using the latest version of powerpoint you can use this uh, 3d models also okay this 3d model also looks very nice on this and then if you want to add some text at the bottom here you can add the text and you can add some simple animation for this particular slide